All right, let's connect up your Gmail to Sales Inbox or just connect it with Zoho CRM. So if you have Sales Inbox, the tab up here, you can click on that and you'll come to this page, which is Configure Now. It takes you to this page under Setup. So if we come back to Home again or Sales Inbox, we have that. Or you can go to the Tools up here. Under Setup, you have Channels and it says Email. Configure e e uh, email, get started. It looks a little different, but what we're going to do is we're going to connect Gmail here, IMAP. So you get, this is one way to do it, and you'll see it comes up with the uh, authorization. So I'm going to go back now to Sales Inbox. That's one way to do it. Another, the easier way is just to come here. It takes you right to this page. You're going to change it to Gmail. You're going to authenticate. You pick the account. Put in your password. It's going to say it wants to read, send, delete, manage your email. Go ahead and allow that. So you see it already sets Gmail. You put your name in. It's going to put the email address, your password. It's going to do all the server information. And then down here you have if it's private or public. I recommend for small companies, just leave them public. And you can always change that later. So save. You can import email filters. So if you have uh, email filters in Gmail, let's log into Gmail real quick here. Since I'm already signed in through the Zoho connection, it automatically is going to take you in there. You're going to come to this sprocket up here. If you have filters on your email in, in uh, Gmail. So settings, go right to your filters. We don't have any filters on this. It's just a bogus account we don't really use. Uh, so you can see if there were filters here, you have the option to export them. So if you click export, it creates a file that you can then import by clicking this, selecting the file, and then um, it will create all those filters and labels within Sales Inbox. But we're just going to skip it here. So you can see it's just going to authenticate. All right, it's successful. It's starting to sync emails. And there's really no emails here. There's just two. You probably saw it over here. There's really nothing in here. Just the two welcome ones. But that's it. You're now connected. So from here forward, if you go into any contact, you can email within Zoho CRM. On to the next lesson.